Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a Facebook group email scraper called Group Collector. Now, in this Group Collector review, I'm going to show you exactly what Group Collector is, how to set it up and how it actually works. And then by the end of this video, you should know if Group Collector is right for you. Now, if you are thinking about getting started, there is also a lifetime deal currently running. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, make sure you use the links in the description. OK, so first of all, what is Group Collector? It is a Chrome extension, which then connects to your Facebook group member requests. And inside of this tool, what it does is actually take all of the questions answers that you've created for your group and imports it into both a spreadsheet and also syncs to your email marketing autoresponder now what this does is it allows you to grow your group but at the same time grow your email list which you can then send out things like welcome email series and so forth to create automation now personally I've tried different Facebook group email extractors before and unfortunately they haven't worked as planned so what I'm going to show you is why I chose group collect and what makes it unique. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you Group Collector. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start here at the Group Collector website. What I first want to do is run through some of the different features that this platform offers that the previous platforms I've used haven't. Now, it's quite an important thing, and I'll show you why. The first main reason is majority of Facebook group extraction tools are going to require Zapier. Every time that Facebook had an update, I always found my integrations to disconnect, which caused issues and outages. So having the ability to not use Zapier and instead directly integrate with your autoresponder is quite a big thing. And they do integrate with a lot of autoresponders, which I'll show you soon. But if we come down on this list as well, you'll also see it works with both the old and new Facebook. So that's also going to save a bit of time. And with this, you can connect unlimited Facebook groups, which was also a limit that I had with the previous software. So now you can browse through these if you wish. I'm just gonna quickly scroll down to the bottom. I wanna show you the amount of integrations these guys have created. We've got all of your major email marketing platforms here. There's literally everything. When there were some platforms that are a little bit less well known that I use, I was pretty excited to see that they were listed here. And if you are a webhook kind of guy like I am, they also have a webhook available in here as well. So you can literally connect with any type of email marketing platform. So that's really cool. Now, if we go to the pricing, this isn't the lifetime deal. This is just the regular pricing. If you miss out on the lifetime deal, you can pay these, but it's still really affordable. $25 per month, which is going to give you everything. Or if you want to get a lifetime deal, 297 plus VAT and you're gonna get unlimited access to all of the features as well. Now, if you are watching this video shortly after I uploaded it, you will see that Group Collector is currently listed on AppSumo, and just a one-time purchase of $79 is going to give you all of the features inside of here. So if you look at the price comparison, you can pay $297 for a lifetime deal inside of their website, or you can get it for $79 right now. It's not going to stick around forever, so I highly recommend checking it out while while it's still available. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is actually go into Group Collector and show you how to install it. And then we're gonna go ahead and test it to show you what this actually does. Now, if you wanna skip ahead, in the description are some timestamps or in the timeline, there is also some chapters. So feel free to go backwards and forth as you need. So first of all, once you log into Group Collector, you will be given a license key. Make sure you add that license key inside here, and then you can go ahead and get started. Now there is some instructions on how to set up Group Collector. It is very easy. So if you come to how to set up Group Collector, it is gonna show you all of these steps inside here. There's also a video, but I'm gonna show you manually how it's done. Okay, so the first step of installing Group Collector is going to the Chrome extension inside of the Chrome Web Store. There will also be a link inside of the instructions once you sign up. And what you wanna do is install the Chrome extension. It's going to look like this, and it's going to ask for your license key. So come back to your dashboard, go to license key, copy that and paste it in here. Then you should see this type of dashboard. Now you can click view dashboard. It's just going to bring you back here, but that's nice and easy to use. So the next step is coming to your groups and actually adding in your first group. So I've gone ahead and created this 
group a little while ago. I've been meaning to add in a tool to actually start scraping all of the data, but since then I haven't done anything because I've been trying to find one. So what I'm gonna do is add this group for now, and it's really simple to do. So first of all, come to add new group, and then it's going to ask for your group name and your group URL. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the name like so, paste it in here and then copy the URL like so and paste it in here. If you wanna join as well, feel free to join. There'll be a link in the description. So go ahead, click on create group. And now here is our first group. Now the next step is to add a Google Sheet to integrate. Now this is really easy once again. Click on add and then click on this button here. It says click here and make a copy of the group collector sheet. So as it says, what you wanna do is come to the top, go make a copy, and then what you wanna do is just backspace copy of, backspace all the other info and just click make copy. Now it's going to open up your own version of this. And what you wanna do is just go ahead and take this URL at the top really quickly and then come back to your group collector page and just paste it in here and click update sheet to authenticate Google account. Now this is going to take you to a Google login. What you wanna do is choose the email address you are currently signed in with. And then you wanna go ahead and press continue and then that has now been integrated. So this Google Sheet, every time someone comes in here and you add them in, it's going to populate all of these fields. It's really cool. So the next step is to integrate your autoresponder. So go ahead, click on add, okay? And you're gonna see here, select autoresponder. Now there is plenty inside of here. Uh, if you remember what I said earlier, I am a webhook kind of guy. So I'm gonna choose webhook and it says here, webhook URL. And what I've actually done is gone ahead into a platform called InCharge, which I use quite a bit, and I've created this quick flow. And what I'm gonna do is just click on this button and I'm gonna receive this webhook URL here, okay? And I'm gonna come back to my group collector page, paste it in here like so, okay? And then come down here and it's going to ask what fields do I want to add to my webhook? So what I'm gonna do is just quickly choose a few. So first of all, I'm gonna choose first name, last name, full name, email. I'm also gonna choose Facebook user URL. So I know exactly where this person is if I wanted to follow up with them. Also this lives in, uh, this is going to show me their current city they're living in. So it just gives me a bit of insight to this person. And then you've got your different answers. So if you wanna collect these, you can easily do so by just pressing the answers for each question or whichever parts you want. You can see in webhooks, you get so many options. But for this particular example, I'm just going to choose these ones. And then what I'm gonna do is quickly pause the video because for some reason, these don't automatically populate. And if I try to update it now, it's gonna say I need to uh, please fill in this field. So if you are using a webhook, what you're gonna have to do is actually create your field names as well. It is a little bit of a manual effort. I am gonna reach out to support and just say, hey, there's something wrong with this part. But apart from that, it's super easy. So I'll just pause the video and fill all of these out. All right, so that has been done. So what I can do is come down here to trigger test webhook and update. I'm just gonna quickly go to the flow, come to the next step here and just go reset mapping. Okay, so like so. And what I'm gonna do is come and send a test webhook. Okay, so it's been sent. If I come back here and reload this page, right, it'll be this bottom one here. And it says here, city, New York. So what I can do is come to here, type in city, and map all of these fields. So this is gonna be full name, email, right, last name, first name, and Facebook URL. I've created a custom one called Facebook URL. So now every time this gets triggered from the Facebook group collector Chrome extension, it's gonna automatically map all these fields. So then it's an automated process from here. Now, just so you know, if you are using a different email marketing autoresponder, something like GetResponse or um, MailerLite, whatever it might be, this is going to be an automated process. All you need to do is choose the list. Once again, I like webhooks, that's why it's like that. So that is now done, the Google Sheet is connected, the autoresponder is connected, so we're almost ready to go. What we wanna do now is actually go to our Facebook group, go to reload, and what you should see here, I'll just refresh it one more time just so you see. So this button here, approve, changes to GC approve like so, and if I go ahead and click on that, it's gonna say group collector complete. If I come to my list here and go ahead and reload it like so, 
you can now see that I've got here group name, Facebook URL, sorry, that's group URL, user ID, Facebook username, join date, and it's got all of the information inside of the group collector that it's gone ahead and taken. So that's really cool. It's got, this is my test account by the way, but the main important things, we have the name, we have the uh, email, we've got the questions and everything like that. Now, if I come to my flow inside of InCharge, you can see one person was here. So if I click on that, well, it's actually got two people because I did that test before. If I come down here, you will see that this has gone ahead and taken my information. So Phil, Philip Wilson right there, and it's added me to this autoresponder. So what I'll do is pause the video and show you how it looks. Okay, so here is my DND Facebook group segment. As you can see, we've got the example that it gives you once you test your webhook. Plus, it's also got my Facebook group entries as well, which is my review thing. It's also got my city, which I've navigated. And if I go right to the end, there'll be my Facebook account. So it's really cool. It's worked perfectly. I'm stoked with how it's done. And that's how simple it is. What I could do right now if I went back to that flow is come inside here and start adding in some automation, for example, a welcome email. So if I wanted to send an email, as soon as someone joined the group, something like a welcome pack or you know giving them some information about what you're doing, things like that, you can come inside here, go ahead and create an email. Now, every time someone uh, requests to join your group, what it can do is then scrape all the information, come through here, send them an email and you're ready to go. You can create this uh, sequence as long or short as you want using whatever email marketing tool you have but it's just great because this entire process can be automated now there is one thing I should probably mention as well if you haven't yet set up questions inside of your Facebook group this is vital for actually setting up the platform what you want to do is come back to your Facebook group let's just say you've created a brand new one what you want to do is come down inside of your options you're going to see this little tab here membership questions I've got three questions inside of here just asking some simple things the most important though is of course asking for their email address if you don't have their email address put into a question then you're not going to be able to collect their email so I've just got here question one do you currently work online if so what do you do next one what are some things you'd like to learn about in terms of online business finally what is your best email address I'll send you the welcome pack mandatory so this basically means uh, once they fill out all of this information you can go ahead and automate the process now there is some other cool parts of Group Collector. If you come inside of this little auto approve button here and click on edit, it's got some special settings that you can actually set up depending on your wants and needs. Now there is an option to automatically approve which is going to run on autopilot for you all day every day. How it works is every hour or whichever time that you set down here, it's going to open up your Facebook group page using the Chrome extension and then it's going to automatically approve everyone and then disappear again. So this is good if you have something like a VPN, so or your computer is on every day because it can go ahead and automatically do this for you. If not, then you can just do it manually and it's still going to scrape everything. You can also choose what kind of members you want to be approved into your group. For example, they must have entered all of the questions or they must have agreed to the group rules. You can also decline people based on these as well. This is getting quite technical, so I'm not going to go into it too much, but feel free to play around with it. I do highly recommend this one here. Decline all members that have blocked you or their Facebook accounts are suspended. You don't want to have spam accounts in your group, so make sure you check that one there. So that's basically it, guys. That is Group Collector. What I'm going to do right now is just jump behind the screen. I want to share with you some different types of use cases for this tool. Okay, so that was Group Collector. and Now, that was really easy to set up, and now this automation has been done. So every time someone new joins my group, I'm also going to collect their lead, which is going to allow me to market to them in the future. Now, one of the best things about this platform, once again, is the amount of integrations that you have. There are so many different email marketing platforms out there, so no matter what one you're actually using, Group Collector is going to integrate, which is going to allow you to build your own automation. Now this is perfect for people in every type of niche, no matter what type of industry you're in. If you've got a Facebook group and you're actively growing it, you are gonna automatically be growing your list as well, which is a very important thing. So I highly recommend Group Collector. And once again, if you wanna get yourself a 
steal. Make sure you use the link in the description to check out the lifetime deal. If it's over, it's still only less than $30 a month and it is going to be one of the best lead gen tools that you have. So that's basically it guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.